Ah, the ancient city. Possibly the most scary thing in all of Minecraft. Good thing these things are just stuck underground, right? Right? That's right, guys. I'm going to be surviving 100 days in this world. A completely covered ancient city world. Not only is the overworld covered in ancient city, but also everything underneath it. All the caves are covered in skulk and shriekers. So needless to say, this has got to be one of the most dangerous 100 days ever done. And if you go on to enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, join the Paul GG army, and let's get into 100 days. Okay, here we go. Stress levels already through the roof. Oh my gosh. A shrieker up there. I need to be careful. I don't set any of these things off, but I think we should. Oh, really? You're going to put a shrieker right next to the only tree that I can see that it gets. <clears throat> All right. Um, I'm just going to have to mine this thing with my fist. Please don't. Please don't. We have to be very, very careful in this world. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do. Like, I just, I don't. Oh, wait, is there a chest up here? Yes, there is. Okay. I'm so, so nervous. There's just nothing I can do safely. I was hoping these were going to have swift sneak on them or something. I got swift sneak, but I can't put them on my pants yet. And I really want this wood, <laughs> but I can't set off any other shriekers. That's my thing. And apparently there's another one right there. There it is. Okay. I got to be careful. No, I'm going to break this one and it's going to set off the other shrieker over there. Okay, I got to wait. This is, uh, is going to be a very slow. I just realized this is a notch apple, by the way. <laughs> this is going to be a very slow beginning. Very slow because I can't set off too many shriekers back to back. If they all go off back to back, then dad shows up and we don't want to fight dad. Okay, shrieker number two. Don't summon him. He doesn't want to show up. He's not interested. Oh, it's done. It's over. I'm screwed. Okay, I'm just going to get wood and we're going to run. I'm gonna get wood and we're gonna run. Get wood, get wood, get wood, get wood, get wood. Come on, 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 faster, 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 faster. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, am I far enough away? Oh my gosh, another shrieker. Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm sweating. I'm already sweating. Why did I do this video? Day one's the worst. Is this one of those watchtower things? No, it's not. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so other structures do spawn in this world mixed up. Oh, it's very mixed up. Oh gosh. Okay, but other structures do spawn in this world mixed up with the ancient cities. Where is this guy? Ooh, and then we also have a chest. Don't mind if I do. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's any shriekers on this side, which is beautiful. However, I need to get rid of every shrieker that's in this village, and I have to do it ASAP. Okay, get rid of it, 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 get rid of it. Brother man spawning right next to me. Not next to me, please. So this is my issue. Villagers and Warden. Warden is going to go after my villagers. Just stay very, very still over there. Oh, no, he knows. He can smell him. Oh, no. What am I about to witness? Oh, no, dude. What did I do? Okay, it's not all lost if I at least have one villager. <laughs> How did he stop? He gave up? Oh, uh, no. I'm just kind of screwed, aren't I? I'm just not going to get a break. Okay, well, while he's distracted, I'm just going to get rid of other stuff. Oh, wait, is he after me? I'm scared. I'm confused and scared. At least with the warden distracted, I can get rid of a bunch of... Okay, he, I thought you got mad at me. I can get rid of a lot of this. The only problem is, is how do I get rid of him? Because <laughs> he seems pretty adamant about staying. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. We just spawned another one. There's two now. There's two of them, and they're very close to each other, and they're probably going to become best friends. Oh, no. Oh, he smells me, but he's all the way down there. There's no way he can come up to me. He knows I'm here, dude. He smells me. But he's trapped. He's trapped in there. This is the worst day one ever. Okay, it's been a long night of a lot of waiting. However, I had the realization, after getting rid of a lot of shriekers on this side of town, that I can craft up a blue bed. And the ancient city still has quite a bit of stuff. Now, the only thing is, is that I did accidentally spawn another uh, another warden kind of on this side of town. I don't know where he went, though, and that's what's getting me kind of nervous. Where did he go? I'm a little lost. Oh, no, I missed. It's happening again. This is going to be the longest start ever. And I just ran out of stamina, so that's pretty epic. However, over near where I summoned this warden, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is, yep, a farm right there. I'm going to crawl on over here, get any food that's edible. Okay, where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay. He's just going to kind of go through the town and ruin everything. Wait, what's he looking at? What's he looking at? Oh, thank God. Where's he going? Iron Golem's clapping him. Okay. While Iron Golem hits him, I'm going to break that shrieker. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. There's no way Iron Golem wins, right? Iron Golem loses 20 out of 10 times. Oh, did Iron Golem already lose? Okay, day two sucks. Because he's not going to stop until he gets every villager. And that guy's on the roof. But at least it gives me more time to just clean up 
all the other shriekers, if there are any, because I'm pretty sure I did get majority of them other than that one. I also haven't really been through the middle of town. I've just been kind of going around it. Uh oh, I think he smells me. So almost the entirety of day two has gone by. However, it seems that they do despawn anyway. Oh, no, he did just he, he did get the roof guy. OK, so he achieved his goal and he basically just left. OK, I want to get rid of these also. They're annoying to listen to. Oh, and then the iron golem's iron. Nice. Now, the only thing is, if there is any more shriekers, I'm screwed. Uh, <laughs> Period. If there is any more, I'm done. All I need to do is somehow get all the villagers over here on this side of town. I feel safer over here and I don't want to do more exploring right now. So I'm kind of like, oh, this is perfect. Sir, come stay. Stay with me. Maybe all they want is beds. I can make beds for everybody. Just get all this wool real quick and then craft up a handful of beds. Then I'll just kind of place them all down on this side of town. And hopefully all the villagers will just gravitate over here. See, it's working. I knew this would work. It was a foolproof strategy. Ooh, and then I could also craft up my iron pick and an iron shovel. Get some cobblestone and make an axe. So now I, at least I have tools. The next thing I want to do is I want to try to get rid of all of this deep slate as well as all of the skulk that's just all over the place. Because one, I'll get a bajillion levels out of this. But two, I want it to look like a village, you know? I want it to feel like my little oasis in the rough, you know, the, the diamond in the rough. This is also going to be a massive project, and it's going to take uh, quite quite a lot of time, especially mining all this. Needless to say, this is going to suck. Luckily, I also have plenty of bones to make bone meal and then also be able to feed myself while I do this. So otherwise, I would be starving. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, everybody. Now, I'm sure you're probably enjoying that montage. All right, got some important news, guys. Today's video is sponsored by myself, my merch, which is going to be going away on December 30th officially. This drop will never be available ever again, and it's beautiful, and you don't want to miss out. We got hoodies also. Hoodies are beautiful. Everyone loves hoodies. I mean, it's pretty cold out there, guys. I'm just saying. So make sure you guys check out the link in my description, represent.com slash store slash not Paul GG. It sells some spicy Paul GG merch. And now finally, I got my little oasis all set up. What I did was basically use the pre-existing walls that is the ancient city to kind of like help wall in what I'm going to be protecting and keeping. And so far, I've only been able to find uh, two villagers after spawning in those uh, wardens. So what I'm probably going to do is, is actually fill in the gaps with probably all the deep slate that I mined, which I've never mined so much deep slate with a cobblestone pickaxe in my life. It sucks. Don't do it. But basically just filling in all these gaps so that they can't escape and also wander off and get lost forever. However, while fixing up my area, I also noticed that there's even more houses farther away. So there could be more villagers, but we got two and that's what is most important. <laughs> Next thing before I wall in the the entire what's soon to be my village. One thing I desperately need to do is set up kind of like a farm area, which I figured I'd probably make it hmm, maybe over here. Newly decided because ideally I need to start setting up some farm soon because I'm going to be starving. I've basically just been bone mealing with all the bones that I get from the ancient cities. However, I believe up here is some more farms. Yep, that's right. So we should have plenty of resources for setting up our farm. Except I, I just realized I need water. I don't have a bucket. That's not good. So then to get a bucket, what I'm going to do is start building in a little mine right here where I've just been gathering cobblestone. And I'm going to dig down and down. Down deep enough to find a cave, baby. Let's go. Woo! Hopefully this cave will be good enough to give me iron. Oh, I, I forgot. It's just more skulk everywhere. Oh, the pain. Oh, iron, though. There we go. Now I can be able to make a bucket finally. You know what? While I'm down here, I'm getting more iron. The thing I hate is using stone pickaxe. Pains me. Bro, stop talking to each other. You guys are so annoying. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Oh. Where's the shrieker? I'm just trying to get my iron and leave, man. But now with plenty of iron, now it's time to cook it all up. Ooh, I forgot I was cooking potatoes too. So now I can be able to make a bucket though and craft up also some armor. And now I can finally plant down a bunch of crops so we won't starve. Look guys, we're gonna make it to the winter. We're not gonna die. 
And with a little bit of bone meal, we can actually fill in the entire farm. Well, I hope. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Say bless up or else. You know, I hear something burning over there and it doesn't sound good. Maybe I should investigate. Maybe my whole neighborhood's gonna burn down. Maybe it's Maple Leaf. Uh oh, I see a shrieker. Target acquired. Moving in for the kill. Target down. Maybe I was just hearing things. Or I did find a chest with a diamond pants with a diamond pants because that makes sense wait is this pickaxe wait hold on this hoe is better than mine we're taking it it's mine now okay back to farming hard work hard work do 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 hard work do do okay farm isn't completely filled in but it'll do for now and now in the meantime while the food's growing what i do want to do basically fill in all of the wall so that my villagers can't escape <clears throat> No one's no one's leaving town, but also so that it'll be slightly less uglier. Hopefully this works out. <laughs> now, finally, I got the wall all finished up. I try to make it as consistent as possible so that it at least be a good looking wall. You know what I'm saying? After all, I mean, it is a wall. All right, maybe it's not a Donald Trump impression. Either way, uh, it looks consistent and it looks good all the way through, all the way around the base, except for over here, because uh, over here I've not quite uh, fully figured out what I'm going to do. However, the reconstruction's coming along. We got our entrances and our exits to be able to get in and out of this place, which actually, speaking of which, that's kind of what I want to... Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta get the potatoes. They're growing. Ugh, I need more bone meal. But enough about the farm for now. I want to do a little bit of exploring, which, um, as we know, exploring in this world is, is terrible. It's terrible. Because because as far as the eye could see, we're just kind of screwed. Wait, did you guys already have a kid? Holy crap, I gave you like two potatoes. Regardless, the village is expanding. That's good news. My goal is to slowly but surely get rid of all of the shriekers and sensors around the village so that we can live a very safe and prosperous life thing is that there's just so many it's just an endless supply okay bones that's what we want is there any other villagers that managed to survive out here my guess is a probably not um oh wait actually i don't even have saplings i need this day 16 i have zero saplings <laughs> all right while this tree is decaying come up here check out the rest of the village which it's just kind of empty um Ooh, but we do have a chest right here and we have a compass and that's kind of it why is the ancient city loot amazing but also terrible we're not gonna go over there um well there we go now we got some saplings so that now our village can actually have a little bit of shade in here also we're not gonna run out of wood one thing I do also want to try is heading this way because I believe there's a redstone room in the ancient city. I have almost not explored an ancient city whatsoever. However, if I remember correctly, there is one. And it's somewhere up here. In here? Aha, uh -huh, in here. However, um, I got to be careful here. Uh, thankfully, there is plenty of wool uh oh please don't please don't please don't please okay we're good okay i see the shrieker bad news there's two which means when i break one it's gonna set off the other oh and also a chest okay here we go this is what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to break this and run period that's it that's all we can do that's that's the only option right now break break i knew it i knew it was gonna spawn him i knew it was gonna spawn him okay at least the village is far enough away i hope please Please tell me the village is far enough away. He's not going to sniff us out. Ugh, I just need a way for him to despawn. I, then we can check out the redstone room. Okay, I think we're good. I think I just heard him crawl back into the depths. I need to get more of this wool, though. This is handy. <laughs> we do have a chest up here with one golden apple, which is kind of strange. I'll be honest. But where is the entrance to this thing? Can I just make my own entrance? <laughs> yeah, I hate to be that guy, but it is Minecraft after all. Okay, yeah. <laughs> can indeed make my own entrance okay how does how does how does this work what's happening what does this lever do okay that powered doors okay that opened the doors that i mined through um there's also a house in here so <laughs> my brain's telling me that i'm missing something but my eyes are telling me otherwise there's literally nothing in here um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this lectern. That's mine now. However, while we're out and about, might as well continue the exploration, which I know there's a chest up here. There we go. Got some more pants, more pants. However, I think these pants are better than my pants. Indeed, they are. Now, one thing's for certain is I don't have a lot of iron. However, an investment into shears is definitely worth it because I'm going to get a ton of this wool so that I can just always have wool on hand 
I just don't know if placing down the wool sets off the sensors or not. If a little testing won't figure it out. Okay, so it doesn't. Even breaking the wool doesn't. Oh, interesting. Needless to say, I'm going to take pretty much all the wool here. <laughs> And I fell in a hole. Now with all this wool, I feel like I can actually safely explore. Still got to be careful though, because like I see a shrieker right there. So I'm just going to keep placing all this down and jumping to each spot. Oh no, this chest. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh uh, gosh, it's just so nerve wracking. Like I can open some things, but I can't open others. Oh, there's so many shriekers right here. Oh God. Oh, oh. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I goofed. I goofed. Yep. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Mm. Right, we're, did I say that we're exploring somewhere else? That's what's happening. <laughs> okay, we got a chest right here and we already looted that one. Nice. Love to see it. Break the shrieker. Another chest right here. This time we actually got some books. Regeneration. Otherwise, some dookie. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, it spawned one right next to me. So this is just, you know, adventuring is just a lot scarier in this world. It really is. <laughs> Things I would do to have, you know, a zombie spawn next to me or literally anything else. However, I think it's almost time that we should head home. The only and last thing that I want to do before going home <sighs> is that I want to get rid of all these shriekers right here because it's very, very close to the village. When I got little villagers running around, you know, sometimes they, they might escape. They might, you know how they are. So what I want to do is get into a spot where I can destroy nearly all of them in one go. So... Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's try, let's try, let's try. Because there is so many of these things, please. Where is it? There's another one. Oh, get it, get it, get it. No, he spawned a little too close to the village, I think. Hopefully not. Don't tell me he's too close to the village. I think we're good. He's just sniffing. He must be smelling my perfume. Sorry, right, brother man. You can go back to bed. No way. There's no chance that you could smell me right now. There's no chance. I refuse to believe that. Finally. He's finally leaving. And now with him gone and also all these shriekers gone, I can finally loot these chests, which have a ton of bones. And now it is time to head home. Next up on the agenda, mass repopulation of... It's raining. R really? Got to rain? On, on my farming day? As I was saying, mass repopulation day. I'm just going to give tons and tons of food to my villagers and I will starve. But it'll all be worth it because then we'll have more villagers, which means more jobs, which means more taxes. But while the villagers do the baby making, one thing that I definitely need to do is get this village ready for a mass population because all the villages up here where it's not safe instead of down here inside the walls where it is safe. But also, I mean, the, yeah, there's just literally houses up here. So I'm basically going to try to move all of these houses down there. For now it's deconstruction. And so now I've officially mined up all the buildings that were like up here and they were kind of like floating over there. And so that I could be able to get all the resources and I don't have water bucket, which I pretty much just threw into the chest. And I plan on building up villager homes, maybe just one big house. Actually, hey, how's it going? Um, I'll probably just build up one big villager house right here. And then what my goal is over here in this giant area, I'll square this off too. And then this will be like where my farms are and stuff. So we're pretty much kind of just maneuvering our way through the ancient cities to make our own kingdom. And I think it's working. But now it's about time we get started on working on building up on 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 on. By that, I mean, I'm, I'm going to build a villager house um, and my axe broke. I'm sad. My goal is to hopefully build a big enough house so that all my villagers could basically live in it. And then on top of that, I can also keep breeding up more and more villagers in the meantime while constructing this. So I'll just keep farming up all the food and then giving it to the villagers so that then by the time the house is done, we will also have a whole lot of villagers. I hope. We'll see. Um... Now, finally, our villager house is complete, which now that I'm looking at it again, it's kind of reminding me of like SB737's house. I, you've seen the, his series and his 100 days. However, the last thing we need to do is just slap a couple of doors on this thing. Got an upstairs. I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to put up here. I was thinking chest, but at the same time, yeah. 
I gotta come upstairs for those. Maybe just more beds. I've also been breeding up tons and tons of villagers in the meantime. I think they've hit their cap on how many there Where are all my villagers. Oh, it's yeah. Everyone's got to hang out in the middle of town. Now, no matter how much they try, they just don't have enough juice. That's not the right word. Um, Beds. Beds is what they need. <laughs> Now all I need to do is get a bunch of wool and craft up a bunch more beds, which I, I don't have the inventory space. There we go though. Now we got plenty of beds inside this house for plenty of villagers. Got also a couple upstairs. I still don't know what I'm doing up here. <laughs> And now let's also move all their jobs that they got into there. And now what I also want to do is I want to try to get armor set up through villagers by just doing trades with villagers and then getting diamond armor that way. Since going mining is actually insanely risky in this world. I mean, I still need to actually I think about it. I, I, I do need to go to the caves. Um, oh, hey, wandering trader. How you doing, sir? Welcome to the cause. Mm, packed ice. That is actually pretty good. We don't have packed ice. Actually, there is the ice box in this world. Ancient city, I think, has a thing called the ice box, if, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but speaking of mining, I do need to go down into the caves because it's about time I do get some diamonds, really a diamond pickaxe at least, so that then I can be able to mine obsidian and go to the nether. It's just Oh, these caves are scary. <laughs> Normally mining in this game isn't this scary. But I need to make sure... Okay, I got a little worried there. I don't know if there's shriekers down here. There's like a million sensors, though. I have to be as careful as possible down here. Okay, nice. That means there's not another one nearby. It's just such a creepy sound to have to listen to all the... Ooh, we got diamonds. Hold on. Please, 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 please. I need another diamond for a pickaxe. I'm trying to be as careful as possible. This place is so nerve-wracking. King, I hate it here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, we broke it. We broke it. It's fine. It's fine. No, there's another one. I'm leaving. I'm surprised he didn't spawn. I literally just need one diamond. Just one. All I need. Too much to ask for? Maybe. Ooh, okay. This is opening up into a pretty big cave with lots of lava and also a mine shaft. Which mine shaft, the idea of that kind of scares me now that I think about it because I don't want to be trapped in this tiny little area when... Oh, no. Two shriekers. Yeah, if a warden spawns and I'm inside of a mine shaft, that sounds like a nightmare. Okay, what I'm going to have to do here is just a little hit and run. I'm just going <laughs> to real quick just get rid of both of these. Just bam, bam. And then we're going to run. We got to run. We got to run. We got to run. Yeah, he spawned right next to me. Immediately right next to me. Okay, but that, there's a problem because there's another shriek over here maybe not oh yes there is and i don't know where it is and another one spawns okay all right mining experience is going perfect here how about i just go look for some diamonds elsewhere um the problem is that the surface is just covered in skulk and i'm kind of just screwed maybe if i just get rid of all the skulk it'll reveal some diamonds it looks like they despawned at least one did now we can get back to adventuring i would just casually drop some water right onto all this lava oh and there's literally diamond right here <laughs> It was covered in the skulk stuff, but it appears it is only one diamond. I mean, like, while I'm down here, you know, that's like, I mean, I could get some other stuff, like some gold, some more diamonds. Um, I don't know why I feel safer in this giant lava room than literally anywhere else. What is this? Is this? Oh, I thought that was diamonds. I've been baited. Okay. Shut up. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Finally, more diamonds. Give them to me. Okay, is that it? Okay, I have depression. Okay, I've run around in this cave for quite some time now and risked my life for a measly eight diamonds. This is all I've gotten so far. I'm gonna do a couple of upgrades. By that, I mean literally just like my sword and then I could do my pickaxe and axe. And that's about it. Now on to one of the real reasons why we're even down here and that's to get some obsidian. And there we go. We should have a plenty of obsidian to be able to get into the nether. Now it's time to head on home. Here we go. What are you doing over here? Um... <laughs> Now what I want to do, though, is build up a nether portal. The only thing is I want to build it on this side of the wall, which, like I said, I ideally I'd transform it. Ah, maybe I do that first. This is yeah, this is a mess. So let's just get to transforming real quick. Uh... There we go. Yet another giant area that we've cleansed of all the skulk. I fixed up the wall. Are you OK? Are you, are you are you hurt sir i need to plug up these these hallways sir get out of the way yeah, as i was saying though cleaned up a whole nother area i plan on building up probably like an iron farm right here maybe a food farm over here then again i also need the the farms to be separate enough to where like the iron farm is not gonna be affected so maybe iron farm over there i don't know yet but we'll slowly keep expanding this way which is where we spawned at and i've already mined out tons and tons of shriekers going in this direction the only hurdle is going to be this giant mountain i, I don't want to i don't want to shave this thing down 
Um, look at our little oasis inside of this whole thing. But what I will do is just for now, probably build my portal right over here because it's about time we get to hopping into the nether. I realize that I have yet to even touch the nether. Uh, I've just been dealing with cleaning up the ancient cities like the entire time and building a house for my villagers. I care about my villagers and my babies. Regardless, let's hop on in and please give me a good spawn. Can we take this? Okay, I literally already found a bastion. <laughs> Priority number one, though, is get some gold. And now all I need to do is... Okay, we also have a, a fortress literally right behind this bastion. Okay, uh, <laughs> although it looks close, but I'm pretty sure I have to go through a basalt by him, so it's going to be kind of a nightmare. But regardless, first things first, we go to the bastion where I'm going to have to uh, deal with piglin birds. Gosh dang it. Come on, brother. You want some of this? You want some of that mm, spicy lava? Oh my. Goodbye. Okay, and then there's one more up there. Okay, this is a little spicy to say the least. Now I got to run through this really, really fast, really, really fast, really, really fast. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Nice, nice, nice. And there's another bastion over there. Okay, we're looking set. Other than the fact that we got a little too many pigs right here. And they're going to get mad. So, sir, I'm sorry, but you got to be dealt with. I don't want any witnesses uh, to my thievery. And mine, 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 And also mine. There we go. So now we got tons of gold that we can do some trades with. Just need to wrangle some piggy boys into a hole. Nice and sick safely. Who's mad at me? I'm scared. I, just, I know there's a piglin brood above me and that's what's getting me nervous. Here, take that. There we go. Okay, pigs in the hole. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. And now I need to lure this guy. Does he see me? He does see me. He does see me. He does see me. And he's coming for me. Oof, not to worry. Oh my gosh. This guy was dropped on my head. Two for one deal, baby. And with the piglin brutes out of the way, <laughs> let's begin the trades. Might be a while though. We only got like two piglins in here. Day two. And while those guys are hard at work doing their trades, I'll just get to swiping all their loot, which is honestly looking pretty spicy. And trades are already looking pretty good right now because these guys do got pearl trades. They got obsidian trades. So this is already a breeze. You know, when did the nether start feeling better than the overworld, you know? Like, how's the overworld got to be so stressful? Now they're finally done with all the gold out of this bastion, which we got tons of leather, which is going to come in handy for later. We got some soul speed boots, lots of pearls, tons of potions, and then I think... I think there's still one more chest that I could loot in this thing somewhere. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Let me just get rid of the one witness <clears throat> and open it up. And it has garbage. Um, sad day. However, the adventure continues because we do have another bastion, but also we need to go to a fortress because we got to get blaze rods and, you know, the fortress stuff. Uh, I mean, I got a bridge all the way across this. No, my inventory's... Oh, hold on, I need to go home. All right, now we'll hop back into the nether with an empty inventory. Hey, going on an adventure to get stuff and you don't have room for stuff. And now that we're back inside the nether, I figured the next thing that we'll do is hit up the fortress just like this. There we go. Now we're primed and we're ready to hop up into the fortress. Oh, and it's in a soul sand valley too. So this is going to be loaded with a lot. I do mean a lot of mobs. It's going to be a little scary. I'm not going to lie. I want to ideally get up inside of this thing. I don't got to deal with all the blazes on the outside. There we go. And now let's do a bit of adventuring. By that I mean robbing the place. Okay, that has literally nothing in it. But chest number two has actually a better loot. I'm just kidding. No, I'm literally opening and closing the same one over and over because there was only like four chests in this thing. I wish there was more. <laughs> I bet those rapid fire cuts felt real nice to watch, though. I guess I have no other choice but to go slay a bunch of blaze boys, which we will hopefully do at a spawner. The only downside is that I'm definitely going to have to put a roof on this thing because these guys are going to fly away. Just bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, just like this, and that'll prevent them from flying away. And all that's left to do is just slay a bunch of blaze boys. Which now that I'm realizing it, that this spawner is technically in a basalt biome, which isn't going to spawn as fast. But I think it's the only blaze spawner in this entire thing. But that won't stop me from getting all the blaze rods. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We definitely have plenty of blaze rods. Oh my gosh, boys, chill, chill, chill. Hello, what is this? Why is the cavalry just waiting for me over here? Anyways, we're definitely all finished up with our fortress. Best thing I want to do on the way out, though, is get a bunch of bone blocks for all the farming that we're going to be doing soon. 
which luckily this is on the way home literally wittery now that we're back home next thing on the agenda here is gonna be food because i haven't tended the crops in quite some time and i'm gonna be starving soon well actually now that i think about it while well, i'm replanting all these and i'm not going to uh <laughs> because i want to build up a brand new food farm that'll be fully automated with villagers i just need to decide i'll probably put it here <sighs> Because I can't build an iron farm too close to the village. Because then the iron golem starts spawning everywhere and it gets all messed up. Like, I know there's an iron golem, I think, stuck in this wall for some reason. Yep, there he is. That's right, I hit you. What you gonna do? Nothing. Give me iron. Needless to say, if I'm gonna be building my food farm right here, then I must be cautious about building my iron farm. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. Because <laughs> for right now, what I do want to do is, first of all, cook up some potatoes so I don't starve. And then what I want to do is build up an iron farm over here. I'll just use cobblestone for now, even though I hate cobblestone. I actually do need some iron for hoppers, so um, come here, big boy. And then let's just set up all the chests with our hoppers going right into them with some stairs on top of all these chests. And then just waterlog all the stairs. And then just slap some lava on top. And bada bing, bada boom, we got a cobblestone generator that I'm going to sit at for the next like day or so to get cobbled to be able to build everything and anything I'm ever going to dream of. Now I should have a plenty of cobblestone. All I want to do is cook some of it up so that at least I can be able to have some more stone brick instead of, you know, the nasty cobblestone. And then now all I need to do is essentially just outline the area that I'm going to be building this farm, which I, I don't want to block the portal, but just start off with a little bit of... There we go. Just like that. <laughs> Now, my goal here is to essentially just make a box for a villager here, a box for a villager here, etc., all the way around. And then there'll be one villager standing in the middle trying to collect all the items. But I'll have some hoppers and some hopper minecarts intercepting them, not letting them catch all the food. Well, I don't really know how I'm going to get the food. I guess I could just kind of dig a tunnel. There we go. And then now all the hoppers will come down right here. And then I'll set up some chests right over there. And now pretty much the next thing that I'm going to need to do is just basically lure all the villagers into their new working spaces. And I would love to enclose this entire thing with glass. It's just like glass is kind of hard to come by in this world. Um, unfortunately, there's not very much sand. I did manage to find a bit of sand up on the mountain up here when I was getting rid of one of the houses. I think the sand spawned because Minecraft thought there was like enough water because of the farm so i did get 51 sand but there's no way that's gonna be enough to fill in that entire thing so uh that's a problem i'm still gonna cook all the sand however and instead what i will do is make windows and now i'll fill in the windows with what little glass i have well actually hold on i need my villagers before i fill in all these windows no i already wasted one oh no no it happened again i hate myself i misclick here and then i'll give each of them one window so that then they could see their neighbor. Just one, only one, all I get. And the rest will be a stone brick wall. <laughs> and now all I really need to do is simply just lure them in with some hard working jobs, which might be kind of difficult because there's a lot of work in here. So I kind of need to get rid of like all these jobs, I think. Oh, wait, is that a guy going for the job? Oh, oh, looking to get a job, are we? I'm sure everyone else is too. So very competitive rates over here. Come on, Billy Bob Jr. Get in the, the farm. Come on in. The work is great. Thank you. Okay, and then now what I'll do is... I think I need to put a block there. And well, I mean, for one, he's trapped. Wait, I'm trapped. I just realized there's a lot more to this than I'm, I'm already skipping. This farm... Hold on. <laughs> Completely forgot that I need to put a hole. Which this isn't even because... Ah, ah, gosh, I hit myself. Whatever. <laughs> I need to put a hole with water so that the crops can stay fresh. And then I need to put a block on top of this. And I basically need to do that for all the rest of them. <laughs> and there we go. With mostly the painful part out of the way, I've lured enough villagers into each one of their cubicles. And I need to make sure I set up the storage system properly properly before I bring in the very last and most important villager. And for the storage system, I am going to need a bit more iron. Probably should have built an iron farm first. However, I went for the scalability aspect of getting plenty of food for my villagers. Yeah, I realized that waiting for iron golems to spawn is probably going to take a little too long. So I'm just going to go down here and mine a bit of iron down in the cave, which shouldn't take too long considering I already know where a bunch of it is because I skipped it all earlier. Instead of mining it. So now, now I'm back down here. Anyways. <laughs> 
Now let's just smelt all this down and then craft up all of our chests and hoppers and then just set up all of the storage system. And now all that's left to do is drop in our final villager into this hole where all the food will be funneled into. Once my man steps up to the plate, welcome, sir, to the cause. Nope, get in the hole. Come on. Come on up, step up, and down you go. So now every time that these guys go to throw food to him, all the food will be funneled into the hoppers. Which, speaking of food, actually, I need to set up all the farms. So a little bit of magic, like a whoosh. There we go. Now we got all of our potatoes all planted up, except um, a little bit of tomfoolery going on on the, on the work site. <sighs> now, as long as it doesn't affect production... Honestly, I don't care. Um, now, hopefully soon we'll start loading up on plenty of tate. It seems to be working because then now I can take all those potatoes and sell it to another farmer in the village. So easy stonks, easy life. Now that we got our food farm all set up and while this thing is cranking along, pumping out plenty of potatoes. Next thing on the agenda is I need to clear out another area for an iron farm since I should probably prioritize an iron farm. Those are pretty important and i'm thinking about getting rid of all this and getting rid of all that and then maybe building it kind of over here this this is going to take forever and you guys have already been seeing me mind this so uh with a little bit of magic there we go now that's much quicker for you guys um <laughs> We got rid of this giant thing that was right here. And then I also cleaned up right here. And then this is where I'm going to focus the iron farm because it should hopefully be far enough away from all the rest of the villagers. And then we also have all this room for activities. <laughs> now, all I need to do is begin construction, starting off with building up a platform and crafting up plenty of beds. By that, I mean, it just, just five. I only need five and then start closing in this platform. Now, typically I would like to put glass in this thing. However, um, again, uh, back to the limited glass issue. Hey, where are you going? We we got limited villagers and these guys are running away. OK, anyways, then now I need to. <laughs> this thing looks so funky. And now I need to bring a couple of villagers over here, though. After I make this thing less ugly, all I need to do is place down some jobs and lure them in with some hard paying work. Any takers? Aha. And then take them all the way up to the top of the tower and then just push them down. Hold on, sir. Come back. Please, please don't do this. Push them right into the hole. There we go. I just need to do that again. And now with both of my villagers down in the hole, all I need to do is give them some potatoes. It should be a perfect time to check on that potato farm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now we have an infinite supply of food. It's just so OP. And just give them all the potatoes and then they'll breed up tons and tons of baby villagers. And while they breed up all the baby villagers, I could set up the storage system, which I kind of need more <laughs> iron. Unfortunately, the, uh, the iron supply is kind of lacking so sir i'm uh gonna have to give you the clapping and now that i got my chest now i can just set it up like so with some hoppers going into it just like that and then just surround this entire thing with some walls and place down some water right there and i need lava so i figured the nether would probably be the best excuse me mr piggy pigs i'm just gonna snag me a little bit of that hot stuff I realized i wasn't even wearing gold but hey they don't mind me I'm one with them. I do have a pig. Ooh, we got ourselves another wandering trader. Hello, good sir. What are we bothering? Looks like trash. I'll be honest. Not very impressed. Oh, actually, there's sand. He has red sand. Then I can be able to have windows. I need to just buy up as much red sand as possible. That is after I place down this lava right there and then just plug it up. And all I need to do is wait for the baby villagers to grow up and we'll have infinite iron. Infinite. I forgot I was using an iron pick. Um... Now I can grab all of my potatoes, which isn't very much yet. It's still racking up and take it on over to a farmer and get some emeralds. Then now I can be able to take these emeralds on over to this guy and buy. Wait, that's it. You cap out you. You cap out on how many you sell. Man, wandering traders really are terrible. Well, I mean, I guess with what little sand I got, I could just cook it up and, and have a tiny bit more glass and now just like that we have a fully functional iron farm which we'll wait for this gentleman to finish up 
I'm basically just going to keep letting this thing run, 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 and then we'll have an infinite supply of iron. Next thing on the agenda, though, what I want to do is start actually finally doing trades with villagers because I can actually buy diamond armor, fully enchanted diamond armor. And that's my goal, because like I said before, going down in the caves, you know, it's not quite like going down in regular caves. <laughs> OK, so he'll buy coal, which is good. That's actually a really good trade. So let me lock him in on these trades, which it's a really good trade because I could be able to go all the way over to our fortress and then be able to slay a bunch of withers to get a lot of coal instead of going down into the spooky, scary caves that are filled with um, freakers. Now, all that's left to do is essentially just run around this thing, clap in some bony boys. OK, that's scary. Oh, wow, we actually got a wither skull. That's a little surprising considering we don't have looting. OK, so the strategy isn't quite turning out as well as I had hoped, um, because I'm definitely getting a lot less coal than I thought I'd be getting because I'm used to having looting on my sword. <laughs> So I might just have to chalk this one up as an L and uh, move on. <laughs> so then that leaves me with the only other method of going down to the caves to get coal, which kind of sucks because the caves are terrible. So my next idea, instead of getting emeralds by selling coal, then buying armor to then level them up, I'm just going to sell Tato's as well as setting up like a Fletcher and stuff like that. So let me just get some gravel and craft up some fletching tables and just set up some new jobs and then just begin chopping down and bone mealing tons and tons of trees to get sticks to make more emeralds. And now all I need to do is <laughs> it's going to be painful. Lots of trades, tons and tons of trades. I should be able to get plenty of emeralds, though, to be able to then level up. Where where are you? Where's my armor? Did you run away while I was chopping trees? Oh, there you are. Don't go too far now. Now I got all these garbage boots. I'm just going to litter over the wall. Uh, and now I can either sell him iron, which I don't know how much progress the iron farm has made. I think it's a little far away. <laughs> yeah, maybe I just go the route of making more money and spending more money. I mean, I could always chop these boys down. It's not that much iron. Come here, stick boy. Oh, no. Where's my armor? Did he? Oh, my gosh. Brother man, what are you doing here? You know what? I can just break this open and there we go. Time to max you out. All right. And there we go. Now he's officially selling me diamond pants and booties, which is unfortunate because I already have really good pants. So that leaves me with buying these booties and then pretty much just leveling up another one. And hopefully they sell me a chest plate helmet. Now I finally got my diamond helmet and my diamond chest plate, which uh, funny enough, I went through the process of leveling another guy um, because I thought that this I thought pants and boots were max level. Apparently not. Um, however, we discovered that as they reach master level, then they sell the helmet and the chest plates. Now we are fully covered in diamonds. Now we need enchanted tools and weapons, which I can get from placing that down. And then is any anyone jobless kid? When you know, come back. <laughs> I guess while waiting for the kid to grow up, I can just chop down more trees. And now finally, I can buy fully diamond tools. So now I got a pickaxe with efficiency. I'm breaking. I already bought my axe, which unfortunately has fortune and the shovel, which only has fortune as, as well, which is a little weird. Um, <laughs> I just bought another one on accident. No, that's fine. That's fine. Because then I'll just combine them. Now, the only thing left is a sword. You guys need more kids. <laughs> Oh, never mind. There's plenty of kids running around. They're just not grown up yet. Now, it's finally been a long time coming, but I have finally gotten my upgraded diamond sword and it's just smite. It's just smite. However, he does sell an axe with efficiency on breaking. So now we actually have a really good axe. I'm just a little sad that, uh, you know, for fully enchanted gear and all that grinding for villagers, it ended up being smite. It's a little bit depressing. Now that I do got some fancy schmancy armor, what I do want to do is upgrade it a little bit. I finally, and I do mean finally, adding one of these swift sneak books onto my pants, I think is where you put them. Can I combine these and get swift sneak three? <laughs> 
I'm so cool. And then slap it on the pants. And then now I can crouch walk really fast. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This is insane. The fact that it took me this long. See, now I'm going to be used to it and then I'm, I'm going to start feeling slow all over again and it's going to suck. Let me go give this a test though. I want to live life on the edge. Explore a little bit more ancient city. Okay, so now we're... Oh, right there. We got our... Oh my gosh. I'm so fast. We got two shriekers. Let's see. Can I just... Ba bam, boom. Ah, I, I couldn't do it fast enough. There's no way he spawns on the first one, right? Ooh, efficiency book. That's actually really good. The adventure is just beginning. Okay, I'm, now I'm a little nervous. Uh-oh. Okay, we got two again, man. Come on. I think if I set off another one, a warden's gonna spawn. And, you know, I don't know if I want to deal with that. Oh, there we go. And three, two, ooh, ooh. just go ahead and try to loot this as fast as I can. Okay, looks like we're fine. Do it with swift sneak. I'm just ugh, painfully slow. Why do these spawn in twos everywhere I go? Nice and it's just ones. And yeah, I'll be honest, the, the loot in these things is just kind of dookie. <laughs> The most intimidating structure in all of Minecraft. You, you would expect it to be a little spicier than this. Next thing on the agenda here is that I want to try, and I, I hope I can get a lot of it, but I want to get a ton, and I do mean a ton of this carpet. I don't know why I said try. Like, I could definitely get a lot of this carpet. It's everywhere. But I need to get a whole lot of this carpet because when we're on our way to the Ender Dragon, um, I'm going to have to probably go through, like, miles and miles of ancient city. So it'd be perfect if I could just walk on a lot of carpet because when you walk on carpet, it doesn't set off the sensors and stuff. Hence the carpet <laughs> everywhere in the ancient city. Okay, I'll, I'll get carpet over here. And of course he spawns. What are the odds? What are the odds? Keep to myself on this side of the ancient city. And the next thing that I want to do is ensure that I do have plenty of food for this trip because uh, when you're going through an ancient city and not just walking right through a beautiful flowery field, it might take a little bit more time and a lot more fall damage and a lot of pain is to be had. And the only other thing really is to ensure that I do have plenty of arrows for this. Fighting the dragon, shooting some shulkers, clapping some cheeks. It's just what we do on a daily. And now we are officially all set, prepped and ready to go slay an ender dragon. So let me craft up some eyeballs real quick. Give it a good old yeah ye. And it looks like we're heading out. Oh, and it brick. That's fine. We we have plenty. We have plenty. We should be okay. So I have two strategies for getting all the way out to the end. Strategy one, run and don't look back. There will be plenty of wardens spawning in behind me, but if we just keep moving, you know, we, we should be fine. We should be fine. So I'm going to try that first. Only thing is, is if I really get trapped, um, that's not going to be good at all. Because like I like this, this is already starting to get a little dicey and I'm not going to be able to escape from a warden fast enough. Uh-oh, shrieker number one. And already spawns one. Okay, give me this golden apple. Two seconds and we already got ourselves a warden. Oh my gosh, swift sneak, you literally speed bridge. Okay, I'm gonna give another one of these a toss and we just gotta still keep on keeping on. That one broke too. Okay, all right, already down two eyeballs and literally no time. Oh my gosh, shrieker is below me. Oh, and there goes another one. Oh no, here's one right here. Bye. Yikes. Oh, we got a chest directly in path. Oh, lots of books. I'll take those. I do need to make an enchantment table. Oh, and there's another warden. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so terrifying. This is why I decided to spend a lot of time working on a village. Oh no, 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 no. I don't think I'm gonna be able to escape fast enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I just stay on the pathways, all the wool pathways, we should be okay. I'm gonna uh, give it another toss. Oh my gosh, how far is this thing gotta be? Why is every eyeball breaking, bro? I literally am losing all of them. <laughs> now, if this doesn't start working out, then I'm gonna just build a giant bridge all the way to it. Oh my gosh, is that a raid tower? This is the weirdest world. I just gotta keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh my gosh, I hear that. Oh no, another shrieker. Oh no, 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 no. Boys, 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 we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh no, no, no. I wanted to loot the raid tower. I don't think I'm going to be able to. However, I do kind of want to watch the outcome of this. Holy crap. There's too many raiders. Hello? You know, I really wanted to watch the warden go to town on these raiders. I just don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, hold on. I need to let this blindness clear. The guy right in front of me right here. And then the where's the warden? I hear him. Doesn't sound like he's that far away. Ow. Okay. I'm a little nervous. So I'm just going to go. <laughs> oh, no. And especially because another warden just spawned. I need to go. Uh, it's also about to be nighttime and this is gonna get a whole lot harder so i need to go to sleep oh and now we're finally going backwards which i just spawned a warden so we're gonna go ahead and wait <laughs> okay so it should be somewhere over here give it another toss 
And it seems like it's kind of coming back over here, so it's probably about time I start digging. I just hope I don't drop into another ancient city or something. That would be terrible. And here we go. We're officially in, just like that. Now all I need to... Oh my gosh, it's going to be covered in skulk. This is going to be terrifying. I was going to say one thing I do want is also a lot of books. This works out perfectly. Ooh, what's in the chest? Two key loot. A paper, which I will gladly take paper. So unfortunately, I have zero sugar cane, and I don't know if I can get sugar cane. Which, while I'm here, actually, I'm going to need to find some creepers so that then I can be able to have some rockets for when I get my elytra. I could fly home. Wait, I hear, I hear silverfish to my left. We must be near. Or not. Maybe not. I don't know. Aha! It's got to be down here. I hear him. I hear him. Oh my gosh. That is one big amethyst. Also, where's chest hello Ooh, we got a diamond in it okay but back back on track here where's the portal oh my gosh don't do this don't don't that'd be one of the last things i want in a stronghold uh oh uh oh uh oh he's mad we're gone though we're gone we're far we're far we're safe oh the portal's literally just right in that giant amethyst thing going right by it oh no does the big boy hear me does he did he hear that because that's gonna be me leaving <laughs> because it is time to slay a dragon. Cue the epic music. Oh, there we go. Finally. This dragon was a pain. Every time I'd melee it, it would leave after like two hits. Like, give me all the green juice. Reward me. Reward me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's quite nice. That's all that scrumptious green juice. Yes. No. That was an accident. Now, unfortunately, I have to, I have to run literally all the way back. <laughs> It's so frustrating. Why like, can't there just be an off on switch on that thing? And I'm finally back in the end. I mean, a really long journey all the way back here really wasn't on the agenda, but <clears throat> it is what it is. <laughs> we get the last bit of this XP real quick. And then now it's time to build up to the outer end portal. Oh my gosh. I'm not used to this swift sneak. This is scaring me. Ooh, uh, ooh. And bada bing, bada boom. Please. No. 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 Oh, man. Okay, I should have enough blocks to get out of this scenario. Uh, which way am I going? And at least also I could kind of speed bridge. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Just trying to get through here. I think I could reach that. Hopefully. Yeah. Oof. We're in the clear. Now let's get some blocks and set off on an adventure. 3.28 a.m. Six and a half hours late. And city number one, it's it's looking a little small. Let me just get some shulker shells though while I'm here. Might as well. So I got something to hold on my junk to relax with the snow rockets. There we go. I can just put all my garbage in here and never have to look at it again. But again, this end city is a bit small and it's not quite the one we want. So uh, there we go. That's much better. This is the type of end city we're looking for. Let's just get some blocks. I'm all the way up to the end ship. Hello there. Are you going to do the work for me? Thank you. And then we got to slay this nerd and get our elytra and whatever I could drop in a second. There we go. We got diamonds. We got a, ooh, a looting sword. That's actually really good. Tons of iron. A mending helmet. Oh man, life is looking up. Now I can use this. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I can use this to get more shulker shells. And of course, while I'm here, I'm going to have to head on over to the actual end city so that we can begin raiding this thing. All right, we should be good to go. I mean, between all the loot that we got, we actually got some pretty good stuff. We got a little bit of diamonds, tons of good gear. I mean, look at the sword sharpness. We oh my gosh, I stared at someone. Sir, would you like the hands? Oh my gosh. Well, now it's about time we head on home. And now finally back home and with the Ender Dragon officially slain, there is now only one beast that lies in this world that still <clears throat> intimidates me. That is the Warden. And with such little time left in this world before 100 days, I have decided to dedicate the rest of my time to slaying that Warden. I worked on bettering all the tools and armor that I got by combining it with all the stuff that I got at the End City. I then did more trades with villagers 
here so that I can be able to make more money, buy more arrows, and upgrade the diet. I also went back into the nether to slay a bunch of gas to then be able to get some gunpowder because it took me this long to realize that normal mobs don't spawn in this world. Then it was a matter of finding the location, the perfect location to fight this thing. I wanted to try a new strategy, which is essentially just mining in a straight line, creating a really long runway and giving myself plenty of room to either run away and cry or slay this thing. But now's the time. Finally, on day 100, ready to slay the warden. This has been a long time coming, but we're finally here. I've mined out a really long straight line to be able to just kind of let this guy chase me and I'll try to kite him as much as possible. The only way that I've ever slain the warden is by kind of like cheesing it a little bit, you know, using some lava and stuff like that. But this time around, I'm gonna try to shoot him with arrows, kite him, shoot him with arrows, stuff like that. And, and I hope this is enough runway. Uh, cause if not, then I might be screwed. And so will my villagers up there. But at the very end of this runway is a little shrieker right up there. And now I'm going to use that shrieker to spawn a warden. Oh gosh, this is so nerve wracking. I was just like, no, I've already survived up to a hundred days. Right. So like, even if, you know, even if I croak right here is what it is. So let's get to spawn in this man's. Okay. Well, that's not the right shrieker. No, I want this one over here. Come on, shrieker. Come on. Come on. Why is this one not going off? This one doesn't care. Oh, oh my gosh. More like that one has like insanely blood curdling scream. Okay, is that enough? Usually it's three times, right? Three strikes, you're out. No? Oh my gosh. Okay, surely now. Oh my gosh, she's literally right there too. Wait, what? He's on top. Can I shoot him with arrows yet? I'm nervous. I'm so scared. I can barely see him. I know he's mad at me already. Well, you're gonna have to come get me, nerd. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I'm just shooting these arrows into the void. I'm kind of... Oh, I didn't put on my chest plate. No, 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 no. I didn't put on my chest plate. Oh, oh. Oh my, what? I accidentally started flying and then he boosted me. What was that? I also don't know where I'm looking. Where is this guy? Where did he go? Oh my gosh, I found him. Come on, I can't hit him with an arrow. I'm missing every arrow. Okay, so he's super aggro to me and he's not gonna stop chasing me. That's pretty clear. I just need to get this blindness off of me. There we go. Okay, so the kiting thing, I could still do it. I could still do the kiting trick. I just need to be as careful as possible. Where is he? He went through behind the wall. No, 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 no. Oh, that's fine. What's up, nerd? Death from above. Oi, oi, oi. I'm nervous. I think I hit him. I think I hit him. I'm so scared. I can't see him. Oh my gosh. I didn't see that wall. Bro, this fight's going to last 100 days. Oh no, oh no. I'm flying right into him. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I'm lost. Literally, I don't know where I am. I could be landing right inside the iron farm. Okay. Damage is being done. Come on, stop. Dude, this guy moves so weird. That's fine. Because as long as I'm in the air where my safe my safe zone is, then we're fine. I keep taking him all the way back to the end of the runway over here where I spawned him. Wait, there's two? I accidentally spawned another one earlier. Come on. Just give up, please. Just give up. Just give up. Oh, I almost landed inside the iron golem farm. That would have been a little awkward. Brother man, it's the end of 100 days. Just die. Ow. Okay, here he comes. Dude, and this is where the runway is beautiful. Is that I can just bomb him with arrows all the way down the runway. Oh, there it goes. <sighs> finally, finally, I got my little skull catalyst. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so painful. But just in time for the sunset. Hey, like over 10 golden apples. I was just panicking. Anyways, <laughs> that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this 100 days. And if you did, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, hit that like button for me, and I will see you guys in the next one.